right people hope you're doing good it is thursday afternoon we're over at the hunt's hideaway over in mean wood you remember it from a couple of weeks ago Turn around. that one up there there one in the middle of the woods nice little uh, nice little cottage so yeah um not much for each other today it's been hectic here we've had uh, plasters roofers electricians everyone's in here so one minute Make sure we lock that. Don't want anyone getting back and on again. So today we've been running the gas pipe at the back. So we'll go show you that. I'd like to get some footage of it, but never mind. Um, but now we are starting to do a bit of the wiring up for the underfloor heating. So we're going to show you how how to do that and how we're going to go about doing it. We might also do a bit of a how-to video, with, um, like a bit of a diagram sort of thing, like PB style. It does with these systems and that. So yeah. Spin you around and we'll go show you the uh, gas pipe. So, out back, gas pipe all done. Gas meter's in, tested. We'll turn it back off though. It's while we're working, right? Everyone's working here. Let's leave it turned off till we come back. That's our win. Marked up the gas. Use le less elbows, li little elbows as possible. Um, I have to put a bend over this cable here. How much I could do with no other way of taking it. Um, through the wall we sleeved and seal on the inside. So yeah, that's all done. And then, just starting the electrics now. So, this frame is made up. So, another no cables up the back of there. That's a bit wet still. Never mind. So we've got a hive system going in. So we've got the hive thermostat, comes receiver, hub, um, and the thermostat itself. And we've got the multi zone. So that comes with the thermostat and the receiver as well. So what we do is we've got two receivers underneath here, I think. So then we've got space for a few spare to go in there. So yeah, could be. Well, yeah, I think we've got a. Yeah, fuse bear there. So alt cables go back of there, pump, um, motorised valves, everything. So yeah, we'll do a bit of walkthrough doing that. Um, Sparky nicely put some flex into there, ready for the pump. Um, we're not using the actuator heads on the manifold because it's a full solid one zone. So the zone valve will do the job there. So yeah, let's get this wired up. Um, wiring diagrams online, a bit hard to find for the underfloor heating, so I might try and throw something together and get it uploaded to Instagram. So if you do want to see that, go follow, follow us over on Instagram. I also might put it on the community page, so make sure you hit the notification bell. Right people, so we're all done here. Um, we're out of light, it's getting pretty dark out. So we're just running off our uni light and the screw fix special over there. Um, so we've got two zone, um, not zone valves, receivers wired up. So then they're linked up the back into the back of the manifold, our wiring center, what are you gonna call it? So we've got our all our we've got a live common and a 
yeah, on a live comment on Switch Live. So using our grey as a Switch Live there. Um, got all our neutrals to the left, earths at the right, and we'll link all at the top. Try to keep it as neat as possible. Uh, we've got our wire here for our three core for our uh, fuse spur. So that went off that box, so we've gone for that box. I don't know if the electrician is doing that or not. But anyhow, so that, I'll try to show you. It might be a bit too dark. Is up here. This is plaster is being down, so we're getting on. So I'm not going to put it on today in this area here, but the plaster needs to feather that in. So I'm sure Gemma and Damien will want to paint behind there as well. So we can link our get Palazzo valves up into the underneath through the gap and also while the feeds in there. So yeah, enough of me babbling. Gonna, gonna show you now a bit in depth of how to do the whole wiring together with the two hives, the underfloor heating and the combi boiler. So yeah, we'll do a bit of a PB style drawing. Hope it helps. If it does help, drop a comment below. Let us know if you like it. If you want to see more stuff like that, S, S plans, Y plans, S plan pluses and stuff like that. Basically one of these. Um, let us know, drop a comment below and we'll get, try to get some videos started for you. Right people, so here we've got our wiring diagram for our underfloor heating system that's going to be connected to our combi boiler over at the Hunt's Hideaway. So as you can see, we've got our underfloor heating receiver, um, underfloor heating pump, zone valve, central heating um, zone valve and central heating receiver and our fuse spur and boiler. So we've got one ten on our manifold and I've done the live neutral and earths already and I've got some links in between one and two, three and four and five and six. So we'll start with the central heating side and we'll move over to the underfloor heating. So first of all with the central heating receiver we're going to have five cables coming out of there. So five core or two, three cores, we can go out like whichever. So we'll start with the live first of all. So we have a permanent live which will connect to port one. We have a neutral which will connect to port three. And then the earth which will connect to port five. And out of there we'll have our common and switch live. So our common is going to port seven and our switch live is going to port nine. Right, and then moving over to our zone valve, we have five cables coming out of there. So we have a grey cable, which is our permanent live, not our brown cable that is used for something else on, on the zone valve. Uh, we have our neutral, our earth, our brown cable and our orange cable. So first of all, we'll get our permanent live out of the way. So connecting to port two, uh, and then port four will connect the Essentially, a zone valve to earth straight up to port five or six, whichever is easiest. And then we move over to our brown and orange cable. So, our brown cable it needs to connect back to our receiver. So, which is basically our switch live to our receiver. So, that we, that we need to take to port nine. So, take that up there to port nine. And our orange cable is going back to our boiler. Um, so that's our switch life for our boiler. So that will take to part 10. And that's our central heating zone valve uh, wired up. Now we need to wire it back to the boiler. So we're going to have our common, which is on our boiler, is our black cable. So we'll connect that to part 7, which links back to our receiver. And then our switch live, which is our grey cable, to part 10. So that's the central heating uh, wired up. So basically, when you, once you have a call for heat, it's going to open your zone valve, and at the same time, then it's going to once your zone valve is open, it's going to send a signal to your boiler for your boiler to fire up and circulate around the system. So moving over to the central heat inside, basically the same, but in this case, because we've got a separate manifold for the underfloor heating, we've we've got a pump. 
So what we need to happen is when we ask for the heat, that when we when we ask for the call for heat, a heat for the underfloor heating, it then turns the zone valve open and the pump open, um, making sure it circulates and then send the signal back to the boiler to um, to fire up the boiler to heat up the water and so on. So we'll start with the receiver and make our way around again. So just like the central heating receiver, um, you're going to have a uh, live neutral on earth. So here we'll take our live from port two. Try to keep this as near as possible for you. Um, and then our neutral, we need to take, we'll take from port three. And then our earth, we'll take to port six. So then, same as the central heat receiver, we're going to have a common and a switch live. So the common needs to link back to the seven. So that's our common, our common link. So same as the central heat there, and then our switch live is going to go to part eight. So we'll go straight down to part eight. At this point, we need to move over to our pump and our zone valve. So our pump has a live neutral and earth in there but the live doesn't go back it's not permanent live it will go to part eight so when it, there is a call for heat the live is then sent to the pump to pump pump around and so on basically so our brown cable from our pump wants to go like so then we've got our neutrals which we take So, and then our earth, which. So, right, over to our zone valve. So, same again with the central heating zone valve. We've got our grey, um, our grey permanent live, neutral earth, and our brown and our orange cables. So, we'll start with the permanent live, which needs to go to part two. Neutral from part four and that uh, from part six. Like so. So that leaves us with our brown and orange cable. So our brown wants to go back to our receiver and pump, which is on part eight. And then our orange going is our cable back to the boiler from the zone valve, which goes to our port 10. So that's pretty simple, all wired up. It's probably a bit, looks like a lot of lines, um, a bit hard to follow, but once you get your head around it, what's going to where, it's pretty simple to be fair. Um, the only thing that's different is you've got a pump, which you just connect your live onto your, um, onto your switch live from your, bar, uh, from your receiver, sorry. And then that links back to your zone valve and then back to your boiler. So I hope that helps. If you like these videos, diagrams, let me know and we will do some more. We could do some Y plans, we could do some S plans, uh, some S plan pluses if you'd like. So yeah, hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to smash a comment, hit a like and all the rest of my lucky. See you next week.